phenomenal, legendary, and blessed night, evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are. Welcome back to a Mustard Seed Movement Ministries channel. Hi guys. So, um, this week I was learning, I was learning a few things. So I was in the book of James, but I also have uh, my daily devotionals that I read on you version and I don't remember I, to be honest I don't even remember where or what I was reading I don't think it could have been James but I don't think it was but anyway um I actually had a conversation with my cousin um about her cousin so just a reminder this particular cousin we're not blood related but um my mom her grandmother when we were younger um they were such close best friends that they called each other sisters and so we just grew up knowing e knowing each other as cousins but any case in any case so we were talking about someone else that was oh my hair is looking crazy but <laughs> let me not get distracted we were talking about another cousin um that seemingly um is envious or jealous of her and um, it's unfortunate because some, something that I told her is that I don't understand why we as women, um, can be envious or jealous of another, um, whether it's because you have certain things or that maybe the other one doesn't, or, um, they're having a certain success that you would like, or for whatever reason, you don't even know the own, your own reason, but excuse me for whatever reason this person you want what they have or you know you're you're resentful to them and I remember reading this week or looking up this week about covetousness or covet coveting c-o-v-e-t-i-n-g um and co we are not to covet it's a sin and so in exodus 20 17 it says you shall not well I'm reading that in ESV it says you shall not covet your neighbor's house you shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his male servant or his female servant or his ox or his donkey anything that is your neighbor's and um I have this new study Bible so if anybody is looking to study it's called life application study Bible and it's in the NLT version and so when I look up that specific scripture so there's notes actually there's like little extra notes in addition to the actual scripture that kind of expounds <clears throat> And it says to covet is to wish to have possession, the possessions of others. It goes beyond simply admiring someone's possessions or thinking. Um, and it gives like this um, statement. I'd like to have one of those. That would just be regular, you know, oh, I would like to have one of those. Coveting includes envy resenting the fact that others have what you do what you don't god knows that possessions never make anyone happy for long um, since only god can supply all our needs true contentment is found only in him when you begin to covet try to determine if a more basic need is leading you to envy sorry that was my car alarm anyway um where was i when you begin to covet try to determine if a more basic need is leading you to envy for example you may covet someone's success not because you want to take it away but because you would like to feel as appreciated by others as that person is if this is the case pray that god will help you deal with your resentment and meet your basic needs so I bring that up because a lot of us want what other people have. I'm, I'm including myself in this. Um, over the years, I've envied or, or felt a way about people 
getting things that I didn't or having things that I didn't have. And um, I don't even think I knew then that it was coveting or, coveting or covetedness. Um, I think that's the word. Forgive me. Anyway, um, but having this conversation about this other person, it, it disheartened me because in this day and age, I'm so pro like cheering women on um, our other, you know, female counterparts. Like we need to be celebrating and endorsing and being there and encouraging them. And what I find is that this stage of my life, um, no matter where I am, I am always cheering on the next person. I have a few people that when I hear of their successes or their new things, um, I'm, I'm looking to see how can I support them. I'm looking to see um, how can I continue to encourage them. I'm looking to see um, how can I join them in celebrating this moment of their life. And not all the time I'm able to be there, not all the time I'm able to support monetarily, but even just saying congratulations, I'm so excited for you, um, even just showing up, it shows something about, one, your support to them, and then your personal character as a person. Um, there are times where I feel like I'm kind of hanging here in the balance, and then I'm seeing so many people up ahead of me. But at the same time, I'm like, I know the work that that person did, especially if they're close to me. I know the work that that person did beforehand. I didn't, I didn't do that kind of work yet. Um, and then there's just sometimes people are just blessed and that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Sometimes things do happen for people that even they didn't expect, um, and, and it's okay, but we have to really be careful with the things that we think that we want that other people have, um, especially something like success. First of all, success is perspective. You need to have perspective about success because success to me isn't always money. Do I want money? Sure but it isn't always money. Um, success isn't always the fame behind the thing. Um, how I look at success, and I remember seeing a video, um, and maybe you've seen it. It was a while ago, and I seen it posted on Instagram. There was a video, and I'll try to make it short. There was a video of a young man who was supposed to be, I'm assuming, God. And these people are coming up for judgment. And there was a guy, and I'm, I might be mixing up the story. So if you heard it, it's fine. I mixed up the stories, but you'll get the gist. <laughs> um, there was a guy that goes up and let's say he was the tax collector. Like he, you know, he was into taxes and investing. And um, so what happened is now he goes up to be judged and God is like, you were great at being this tax collector, but I had so much more for you. You were to be um, a minister of your own church. And you were going to have thousands of members. And you would have touched those thousands who would have touched those thousands that would have touched more thousands. But being that you continue to stay in this because remember, we have free will. Um, yes, you had a pretty decent success, success, but um, you 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 missed out on more that I have for you. And then I think there's another person that goes up, and they were a minister, and they were like, "Yeah, I had 500 members or whatever, and blah blah blah." And it's like, but I actually wanted you to be in real estate because I had more for you there in real estate and you know they they were left feeling kind of like oh my gosh but then a woman goes up and she's like I'm so sorry 
that I didn't do missions, I didn't do this, but I was just raising my children to the best that I could be, that I can raise them. And the guy goes, and remember the guy is supposedly supposed to be God, he's like, you did exactly what I needed you to do. Because now that you raised those three kids the way that you raised them, they've touched one who've touched one who touched millions. And I'm thinking how beautiful that was. We have to be careful of what we desire that other people have. Could you be desiring what other people have? And this might seem out of context, but I hope that you get the reference. Because you might be envying something for their success in that thing. And you might follow them and do that thing too. And then find out that you were supposed to do another thing that would have put you at a grander scale. Not necessarily better than that person, but just in your own lane. And so when I'm thinking about someone wanting what someone else has and then doing it in a way that you don't think it's malicious, but in all actuality it is, you're doing yourself a disservice, right? Because covet, to covet is a sin, one. So you've al- you're already in a sinful nature. Being in a sinful nature um, gives you evil intentions um, and where you have resentment and jealousy and all these things that are not of God. But then what are you passing up in your life by doing that? Because now you've missed your opportunity to do and be what God had called you to be. Sometimes we don't all know our calling at the time that everyone else does. Um, Just a reminder, I'm 41 years old and I'm now starting a YouTube channel. YouTube has been around for a while. I have a friend, she's in her 30s. I think, I think she made 35. And she's doing a phenomenal job as... um a purpose alignment coach and she's doing wonderful things and she's on speaker platforms and all of that but that's her lane and I'm in my lane where God has called me to and there could be things that I could have wished and hoped for and wished to be in her light but what would I miss in my light what would I miss trying to be like her or trying to have what she has what would I miss And so actually this kind of, this video kind of stands on two parts that I'm poking at here. One, coveting is a sin and we shouldn't covet what other people have that isn't yours. It isn't yours to have and it's causing you to sin. But then the other part of it is that you could be missing your own blessing trying to have what other people have. You could be missing your own blessing, trying to have something that's not yours, but what's yours is there. And now God's assigned it to somebody else because you didn't want to take it up. You didn't even, you weren't even in alignment with him to take it up. So I want us to be more supportive. I want us to be more encouraging. I want us to be um cheerleaders for our female and even our male counterparts we are supposed to be in this kingdom together doing life together loving on each other because we're supposed to love others as we love ourselves which that's a whole other topic that i hope to do on on one of my youtubes as well but we're not supposed to be against each other We're not supposed to be sitting in the background secretly wishing failure on someone else because they have something that we want. Or sitting back in resentment like, who cares? I don't care. So what? You've got whatever followers. And by the way, followers doesn't matter. Let me tell you something. Um, And that's a message for whoever is listening and for myself. Because most of the time when I'm talking to you guys, I'm talking to myself as well. Even if it's not currently a stage that I'm at, it's definitely something to keep me reminded of. 
So, but we are supposed to love each other. We are supposed to help each other, encourage each other, support each other, be that cheerleader and, and really being more in the kingdom of God. We are in this world, but we're not of this world. We also have to be careful to not be so wanting of possessions here because we can't take them with us when we go into eternity. And honestly, if you're sinning here, you're going to have a problem when it's time for you to go up and meet the father. Y you are. Um, and that's probably another topic as well. But I'm just, I'm just letting you know. I am. So, um, and trust and believe, we're not perfect. So if this is something that you suffer from, talk to God. Ask him to help you, just like it said in this word. Matter of fact, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get it back. Uh, huh, huh. uh, yes. In this, if this is the case, pray that God will help you deal with your resentment and meet your basic needs. Yeah. So be careful out here. Don't allow your want and selfish desires to have something that somebody else has, one, put you into a sinful area, but also, two, cause you to miss your blessings. God has so much for you. I don't know what that is, but you won't find out if you remain in sin, and you won't find out if you if you keep yourself in suffering because you want something that someone else has, you don't even know if God has something so much greater for you. And even if he doesn't, that doesn't even matter. The greatest thing that you can get from God is a relationship with him, but you won't know that unless you're talking to him. But if this is something that you struggle with, you're going to have to sit down, repent, ask the father to help you not do it again, it, it may take you a while because nothing happens overnight, especially if you've been doing it for a time. But when God knows your heart and he knows that you are not just giving him lip service, but it is actually something that you want help with, he will help you. And you'll be surprised that help might be quicker than you think. But sometimes we need reminding. So just be careful. Be careful about envying and wanting and desiring in such a, a, a selfish and self-centered way for what someone else has and don't get caught up in that sin you don't want to be there and just ask God to to really help you and 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 be that rock for you to work through that area in your life so I hope that this helped you I'm looking forward to bringing another video to you guys, but until then, I wish you love, life, and light in Christ, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that you can be notified of new videos that come out.